really looking at the most common scenarios, most common contractual uh, frameworks that exist within our industry, I think the introduction of DLT to, um, to derivatives trading is unlikely to present uh, many significant um, issues. And indeed, the paper was, the paper does attempt to take a really a sort of practical um, approach and look at these issues um, from the perspective of two of the most, I suppose, two of the most common scenarios that you may see um, in our industry. So looking at the first one, I think this image will seem very familiar to anybody who's any familiarity whatsoever with this the documentation. Um, and in this example here, what this is really intending to illustrate is, you know, parties entering into an ISDA master agreement, entering into transactions under that ISDA master agreement. Um, and within those transactions, certain obligations in this instance, payments are intended to be automated, again, in this example, on the R3 uh, Corda platform. And I think this would be relatively simple and straightforward to implement on Corda um, in the manner that uh, Jason has suggested. 